series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. The Phillies will try to complete the series sweep on the road against their division rivals right after this. Noah Syndergaard is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, it's not easy to bunch anything together against this guy. In his last three starts, he has a whip of under 1.10. So we may see some hit and run. We may see some bunting. And we may see some running. Because if you want to lay around and try to get hits off this guy, that's not the right thing to do. One of the top pitchers in the game right now. Oh, okay. I see how it's going to be. You're going to implore that. You're going to use the ambush tactics and not playing nice right there. Usually you're supposed to take the OO pitch to start the game. He wasn't paying attention. Up next will be Nick Williams. He swings and grounds it to short. The second for one. On to first, the double play. With that, here's the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia Phillies. Mark, how do they go about breaking out the brooms on the road? Are we still a big believer in batting average, Matty? In today's game, I I'm more interested in the OPS number. But that's not to take anything away from this offense. They lead the league in batting average, and what that tells me is they're getting a lot of guys on base. There's a lot of guys with some good approaches and good plans today. See if that leads to a bunch of runs. Hit out towards second, taken in by Flores. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Vince Velasquez starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, one of the things this guy does really well neutralize the left-handed hitters on the season lefties are hitting under 250 against this guy so whatever he's doing against lefties it certainly works one and one to the Mets leadoff hitter Count is one and two now. Rounded back up the middle. Crawford gloves it. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Fortunately, the catcher is there to back things up. Wow, the last thing you want to do is give the home team an unearned base in the first inning. Now they've got a speedster on the bag with no outs and a good chance to score early in this game. Stepping up now, David Wright. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. No balls in one strike. Now the 0-1. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. And there are the umpires working this one. Falling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He's he will give a little bit on the corners, both inside and outside. I think he's a fair umpire, but I would rate him more as a pitcher's umpire than a hitter's umpire. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, we'll see if the Todd father, Todd Frazier, can keep it going. He was the catalyst for this ball club last month. He had an on-base percentage of over 400. And when you're doing that, you're really helping your team. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jay Bruce. His lifetime line against Velasquez. He's a 333 hitter. He also has one home run. Hey, he got away with that one right there. If he's going to live up there, spinning it up top of the zone, he's going to get hurt. The 1-1. One, one. Sent on the ground out to second. Cabrera's up with it, and he's safe. 
You know, D'Lo, sometimes one of your best friends are your own teammates right there. Good hustle from first base to beat that throw to second. And guess what? He bought his battery made a knock. Yeah, he definitely bought him a knock. You know what else he's going to buy him? He's going to buy him dinner on the road at some point because that's some significant hustle right there. It was a nice play. The internal clock of the defender thought he still had a chance at second. Wasn't meant to be. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a three-run shot to left center. Third home run for him on the year. And the Mets have taken a three-to-nothing lead. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. All right. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Three runs already home here. Now the 0-1 is swung on and lifted out to straightaway center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. One team's dream inning is another team's nightmare, right? That's their third hit of this opening inning. This one a double. That's got to have the pitcher pretty upset out there and the manager wondering how long he's going to go in this one. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. And she'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. His lifetime line against Velasquez. The pitcher's swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, but it bends just foul into the second deck. One ball. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Lifted in the air out to center field. Herrera is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. But the Mets strike for three, all coming courtesy of this three-run home run. Second inning coming up. It's 3-0 New York. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Aaron Altair. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The 0-1. But a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Well, today's game provides the visiting squad with a chance to complete the series sweep, guys. And you can see why this team is in first place in the division. A solid ball club with good hitting and good pitching. And it's always key when you're playing interdivision squads. And one thing that would certainly help their cause in going for the sweep is if they can break out the big bats like they did yesterday. Several home runs in that ball game certainly would and you hope yesterday they didn't empty out the bucket of runs they'd like to use some of those runs today and hopefully secure another victory throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second here's Carlos Santana now and what a season he's having entering play leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories One out, nobody on. And right into the shift. But well, that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Cespedes is there. Two gone. That exactly. 
Third baseman number seven. Coming to the plate Mike now, Allen. Mike Alfranco. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. Pretty average results, four for 15. Here's the first pitch to him. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes Lagares. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail it here three to nothing. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Hey, that's obviously the game plan against this guy. Bury it in on his hands. He finds himself down 0-2 now. He doesn't know if he's coming back in there or going breaking stuff down the way. Time to take a look at the Philly D. And guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this one. The 1 0 home. Lifted the other way to left center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second center out. Fielder, number 12, Juan Lagara. Now with the plate, Juan Lagares. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. That's and a curveball that time that broke too low. Lagares is simply an all around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room. And the shortstop is under it to make the play, retiring the side. Mets go down one, two, three, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Stepping into the box, Jorge Alfaro. He begins this one with the fourth best batting average in the National League. Here's the first pitch to him. Hard hit ball to second. Backhanded. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting eight. Shortstop. Crawford. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strike one to start the at-bat. Bases are empty. One man out. Only two, the count to Crawford. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. And that gets through for a one out base hit. So a one out base hit has him aboard here in the third, and that seems as good a time as any to check out our league leaderboard in hits. And as you see there on the graphic, his total good for fifth best in the National League. The pitcher, Vince Velasquez, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Reined in. And indeed, he won't try to force it at second. He'll just flip on to first for the sure out. Up next for Philadelphia, center fielder. So coming to the plate, Odubel Herrera, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He 
comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Pitch is away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One left. Next for the Mets, David Wright. He'll lead it off against Vince Velasquez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh, one pitch on its way. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Now the one and one pitch. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And a reaching effort, but this ball gets by him as he does a half gainer to try to flag it down. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Wow, this is a perfect example of a wily veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the belt, kicks and deals. A high fastball is in there. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. And he takes strike two. Cespedes, commonly known as La Potencia around baseball. He's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. Hard hit to first. Santana's got it. And it's a productive first out as that runner's able to advance 90 feet up to third here. The right fielder number 19. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Jake Bruce. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Wright stands at third with one gun in the inning. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. The one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Oh, and one the count. Two outs here with a runner at third. Ah, tied him up there as this is softly hit down the line. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Mets strand one, but they lead it 3 nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nick Williams. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. High in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The batter number 13, second baseman, and dribble. Cabrera. So the leadoff man sat down here for Esdrubal Cabrera. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. The left fielder number 23. Aaron Altair. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Aaron Altair comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 
way hey, off balance hack that time. Good for the first strike. Hey, he gets a pass right there for that ugly swing. He's been having a monster season. Take a step out of the box, regroup. He'll get right back in this AB. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Towards second. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Hey, d -Row, are you aware of this after that knock right there? That's an 11 game hitting streak. You think he knows it's at 11? I think he knows exactly that it's at 11. It starts off innocent. You just want to get a few knocks to get the hitting coach off your back. Next thing you know, you wake up, you've been sleeping easy for almost a week, eight days. Now we're on 11. This guy's dinner tastes different. So now Carlos Santana. And a pitch takes off inside and gets away. And no advance. It's ball one. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Here comes the first pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Go on to first is in time, and the Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. Phillies leave a couple, still down 3 nothing. Next up for New York, Wilmer Flores. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called. And that's going to be out number one. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Into the box now, Travis Garneau, as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. Wow, there's a case of the ball up in the zone. Not the easiest pitch in the world to get underneath and drive it out of the ballpark. Good piece of hitting right there. Ball up in the zone. He didn't miss it. He destroyed it. And this is up and in, ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The knee buckler, and he swings and misses at it. Obviously not where he wanted that curveball to end up, but I guess it fooled him enough to get the swing and miss. Way in front of a great slider that time. Here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Noah Sindergaard. He flew out in his last at-bat. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. Four runs, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. 
Oh, well, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Some guys have no trouble hitting with two strikes, and some guys never want to get there. Let's see the approach right here. I'd like to see him shorten up a little bit, maybe choke up and try and work the ball back up the middle the other way. The next 0-2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. The Mets strike for a run on this home run by Travis Darno. We're through four. It's now 4 nothing, New York. At the plate, Jorge Alfaro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. High in the air out to center field. On the move is Ligares. One out. Now so still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Digging in for his second at bat, J.P. Crawford. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Grounded to the right. Scooped up on the backhand. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting. Pitcher. The last pitcher. Cesar Hernandez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 16. Cesar Hernandez. See the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Oh, one pitch on its way. Hit back up the middle. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Phillies down on just four pitches. They trail here four to nothing. Jared Eichhoff, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Here's Juan Ligaris now. He's got a base hit tonight. Career line against Jared Eichhoff. Not great. He's one for eight. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. Line drive to center field. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. First base, number five. Even though that pitcher hey, was able to execute right. in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Swing and a line drive, but foul. <laughs> a look now the pitch now pitch swung on and missed as they get a header right now 0 and 2 hey guys that's just a nasty pitch right there I can't tell you how many nightmares I've had about nasty sliders and that's exactly what that was right there Williams is under it one away the left fielder number 52 you Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. Here's the first pitch to him. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. There's a strike. No balls, two strikes. Count remains at 0-2. Lagares leads off first with one away. But it's behind the ball in two strikes. And 
And there he goes toward second. Pitch inside the throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Well, some may say that's a questionable steal with such a big lead, but to me, it's still too early to worry about disrespecting the other team. I've seen leads like this disappear, so they're going to keep trying to pile on. Four runs, six hits, and no errors on the Mets' line score so far. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. What I like about that strikeout, guys, is that he came back with a fastball on two and two. He was heading to count 0 and two earlier, but instead of continuing to nibble a little bit, he decided to get aggressive again and to challenge with his hard stuff. Career line against Jared Eikhoff. He's gone three for eight. Two of those hits were for home runs. A ball and a strike now. Ready with the one and one. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Ranging back is Herrera to the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Mets leave one. They lead it four to nothing. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. And at this point in the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Grounded up the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Slow grounder to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The right fielder, number five, Nick Williams. Up next will be Nick Williams. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First offering on its way. Zero. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. Swing and a little tapper. Foul ball, strike two. One out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. Flores ranging into the outfield. And he makes the catch for the second out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. As he sends it on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. The five, six, and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Mets four. Here's Todd Frazier now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Purple that catches the inside corner. Hey, I watched Tom Glavin master throwing changeups inside to right-handed batters and getting them to pull a foul. If this guy can command that front hip curveball, He's going to go to it all game. Outside, two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Popped high in the air. Franco has a play. He's got it one away. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone. But maybe he tried to do too much with it because 
basically, he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back. And the pitcher, he just dodged a bullet. Stepping in now, Wilmer Flores. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. One for two in the ball game thus far. the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. In the last at bat, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And another foul ball. 0-2, here it comes. Still no balls and two strikes. Two out, nobody on. Ready with another 0 2. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. bat explodes as this has popped up and he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning down in order go the Mets but they're in front four to nothing welcome back to City Field in Flushing getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top but first let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball leading off the inning Aaron Altair and they'll need him to get something going here here comes the first pitch Aaron Altair lifted in the air to shallow center field coming in is Ligaris. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. The batter, first baseman, Carlos Santana. Here's Carlos Santana now. A fly out and a single for him so far. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh, as now there are two away. Third baseman, number seven, Michael Franco. Striding into the box, Michael Franco. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a drive by Franco. Deep left field. Gone! It's a solo shot here for Michael Franco number 14 on the season as they get on the board it's four to one now. Well they're still down but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets him going into the box Jorge Alfaro weak grounder back to the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So it may be too little too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. Get up and stretch. It's the Mets four and the Phillies one. 
In now, Ahmed Rosario. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Ahmed Rosario. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. Zero. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0 and 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? There's another slider. That's back to back good sliders, and this guy's breaking ball is really good. And when he's throwing it, well, like he is, and he's confident with it, he can throw it three or four times. In a row. Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field, and that is going to clear the wall, a home run. A solo home run for Ahmed Rosario. Fourth home run for him on the season as they stretch the lead to 5-1. So striding forward now, Noah Syndergaard. And Dan, after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and a win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. High in the air out to center field. Herrera's there. One away. Center fielder number 12, Juan Lagara. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Juan Ligares. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. A bouncer up the middle. Crawford has it. Throw gets him. Two down. First baseman, number five. David Wright. Now at the plate, David Wright. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Altair is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. But the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. Seven. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Pulled toward right center field. Lagara is giving chase. One down. Now Reese Hoskins will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. He's got that average sitting right at the 350 plateau now. 29 homers and an even 70 RBIs. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. After that off-balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0-2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. Slider swung on and grounded towards short. Rosario brings it in on to first, and he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. Striding in, Odubel Herrera, two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, and they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing.
Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive to center field. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Didn't waste any time, like the first pitch he saw to keep the inning going. Right fielder. Stepping in, Nick Williams. He's gone hitless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not, Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. From the stretch. Pitch is popped up. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Throw down to third is thrown away right down the left field line. And he is going to score now all the way from first on a play that was nothing short of a disaster all the way around. And yeah, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, B. Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fly ball into straightaway left. Cespedes is there, and that's the third out. Phillies get a couple of hits here and it leads to one on the scoreboard. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Mets are out on top five to two. Ben Lively is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 19. Digging in, Joanna Cespedes. He looked to bounce back after striking out his Leaving last out time up. Left fielder, Joanna Cespedes. First pitch on its way. No balls in one strike. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. High in the air out to center field. Herrera's there. He's got it one away. The right fielder number 19, Jay Bruce. Here's Jay Bruce now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Lively benefits from the fact that he throws a lot of strikes, doesn't walk many batters. However, there have been occasions where he's been hit around a bit. And that's one of the keys when you're managing a guy like this. If he's on, you're going to see him attack hitters. And when he's not, he's more prone to giving up base hits. So you have to have the bullpen ready if it's one of those days that he doesn't have it. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Jay Bruce becomes out number two this inning. Here's Todd Frazier now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. The Phils entered the day looking to wrap up a big series sweep, but it's going to take some late game heroics in order to make that a reality. Never easy to sweep any team, but this is a close one, and there's an old saying in baseball, a bloop and a blast, and if they can stay close, get a base hit, get somebody to hit one out of the ballpark, they're not out of this one yet. And he fouls this one off. The 0 2 once more. To right field. Williams is under it. And the inning is over. Mets go down 1 2 3. They're still out in front 5 to 2. Back in Queens at City Field as we get set for the top of the ninth inning in this one. Jerry Spamilia comes on now from the pen the hoping man. to finish this one Number off here in the top of the ninth. Jerry. Riding in once again, Aaron Altair. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road trying to come back against the closer. First pitch coming. Here it is. 
lifted into the air to shallow center. Flores onto the grass, and that's the first out of the inning. Final line there for the Mets starting pitcher. He was on point from the get-go this evening. Here's Carlos Santana now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here comes the first pitch. And right into the shift. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Rosario's got it cleanly. On the first, and now the Phillies are down to their final out. Their baseman, number seven, Michael Franco. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Michael Franco. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Very rarely, Matt, you see a first pitch changeup hit out of the ballpark. That tells me right now that this guy was up there looking for the changeup of that last at bat. We'll see if they pitch him any differently here. No balls and a strike to count. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Now a swing and he pops him up. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Mets will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd.